Ever since we first posted my mom's cottage renovation video last year, from time to time we get messages and comments asking for an update on how she's liking the cottage, what it looks like now, etc. So the other day, the kiddos and I went to her house to visit for a little bit. We checked in with her on how she's liking the cottage after officially being there for a little over a year. Oh my god. Oh, gosh. Carly, Joe, and Michaela gave it to you. So Isn't it nice? Cute. Um so I think Alana and um Sid are gonna go watch oh careful honey. Oh my god. Uh oh are gonna go watch your um gymnastics today. Oh fun. Oh, fun. The cottage is small. There's no getting around that. And it was absolutely an adjustment for her when she first moved in. She had to get rid of a bunch of things and she had to really pare down to the items that she wanted the most. That's been one of the biggest hurdles, I think, for her to get over was just the loss of space. But I also feel like it was really good for her. Like me and PJ, she had a lot of just stuff. And when I say stuff, I just mean she keeps everything, kind of like we do. Papers and like things that you would just never really need. So I'm really honestly proud of her for making that change. She has her home decorated really cute. And every time we go over and visit her, I don't know, it's just, it's a happy, happy little home. And I'm so glad that she's right down the road from us and we can pop in and visit anytime. We want to give a special thanks to the sponsor for today's video, Vivid Seats. And a huge thank you to Vivid Seats for providing tickets in exchange for an honest review of our experience. One of the first things that we did as a dating couple was go to a concert together. And there's something about that experience that was just... I don't know, it's fun to, to experience that with you for the first time. Mm -hmm. Well, and even like, even right before we got our kids, we were going to a lot of concerts. Like within a year or two span, we saw Adele and Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift. You saw Miley Cyrus. Mm -hmm. There is just, there's just something so electrifying and it's a feeling that really can't be replicated anywhere else. There's like an electricity there that is, intoxicating. So ever since our oldest son heard Billie Eilish, he has been obsessed with her. He has like a t-shirt that has her, her face on it. And he knows all the words to her songs. Good or bad. Right. But yeah, so he loves Billie Eilish and we started talking about potentially wanting to take him and do something with him just to give him some one-on-one -on -one time and taking him to a Billie Eilish concert would be like the best day ever for him. So we decided to get tickets for him. So we used the Vivid Seats app to purchase the tickets to see Billie Eilish. The neat thing about Vivid Seats is that it's the only ticket seller with a rewards program. So if you buy 10 tickets, you get the next one for free at no extra cost. And you're automatically enrolled when you download the Vivid Seats app. Their customer service is amazing. Vivid Seats actively supports causes like Music Cares, which is a nonprofit group that supports the music industry, especially during tough times like COVID. Our honest review of Vivid Seats is, it is extremely easy to use and it's 100% legit because you get a 100% buyer guarantee. So Vivid Seats guarantees that the tickets you receive are identical, comparable, or even better than the ones you ordered or you get your money back. Once again, we wanna give a huge thank you to Vivid Seats for sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna find out more about them, you can check out the link in the description below. Speaking of home. So we're upstairs in the landing. And this is just one of the reasons that we need someone to come in and help tidy your house out. Our house is a wreck. I feel like there are so many rooms that look like this. And just need a little bit of help every now and then. Stop pinching my butt. <laughs> what is this now? What is this? The truth is our house just needs a little bit of extra help every now and then. We need a little bit of extra help every now and then. After many discussions, PJ is finally on board with getting a house cleaner. So I, for one, am extremely excited. And now it just boils down to us finding the right person that is a good fit for our home and for our family and seeing how quickly we can get them in here.
The last two weeks at the farm have been really challenging. Two weeks ago, we had one of our three day old lambs just go missing. And after looking around, there was some fur on the fence and it looked like it was coyote fur. And then we found coyote poop in the field and it had black wool in it. Dixie texted me this morning and the first text that she sent me said, the white baby did not make it. As soon as she texted me that, I guess she had went to the chicken lot and she said, four dead chickens, looks like something dug through Roy's yard. Then she was like, so the four are dead and then Desiree, which is another one of the hens, is gone. We may be talking about more than one predator. That's a lot of dead chickens. Night had fallen. When I woke up the next morning, there were four bodies, chicken bodies, uh, laying beside Holiday House. Two Rhode Island Reds, a black and white hen, and Silver Fox, the rooster. That night, we learned a lot. We made a lot of mistakes, and we have a lot of room for improvement, and Really soon here, protocols need to be set. If this happens, then we we must do this. And if this doesn't happen in this amount of time, we've got to do this. We lost a lot of animals that night. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of room to improve. It's crazy that all of this has happened within a two week period. We have had the majority of the animals for almost a year and we have not had any issues with predators. It just hit all at once. From the very beginning, I told Thomas and Dixie that be prepared when this happens or this happens. Last night alone, we lost eight of our animals. We are at the farm today and it's an extra special day out here at Okoy Farm because my brother and his wife are coming to visit. My brother Taylor and his wife Mariah have not been to our farm in so long and so much has changed since the last time they were here. Hey, so you walk into the living room. Why'd you do it that one so is it normally it's wide or uh, That's, yeah, that's not the look we like. Yeah. We like the, this is more like English. Ah. This is your hot water heater. Yeah, we keep it dripping. Oh, you do inside? When it gets below freezing, yeah. There we is. All right, let's go, guys. We have added a pond. There is now fencing around our entire farm. The pavilion looks completely different. So, so much has changed since the last time we we're here. And I know we're just really excited to show them around. The thing about my brother is that he absolutely loves the outdoors. And that's one of the things that he and PJ have in common. And every time that they're together, they're always talking about the different projects that each other is working on. PJ was showing Taylor the new water pond mechanism that he had made. And then Taylor was talking about the stuff that he has going on at his house. So they get along really well and they're always talking some form of business every time that we get together. The farm is our happy place and it's where we enjoy spending the majority of our time. And so anytime that someone drives out here to visit and to see the farm, it's always extra special. They bring it all out. PJ got these windows off Facebook Marketplace. They are. I and love that's, And that's gonna be them. a kitchen. There'll be an island in the middle. Yeah, right so like here. this support wall is going away, obviously. Yeah. And we're gonna put a beam. Look, here's the original trailer. Isn't this wild? This is the trailer. Took a single wide trailer and built a, f a house around it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. We know how special it is, but to hear other people say it, it just kind of, I don't know, it's a really good feeling. This is Marilyn Monroe. This is my baby. Dixie is currently feeding Marilyn Monroe. This is not Marilyn Monroe. This is my baby. No. And first of all, I'm the one who pulled her. So if she's anyone's baby. baby has given birth my to baby. her, but like the doctor, that my doesn't baby. mean that You're so she's pretty. Yours. She definitely prefers me. Well, I'm going to work now. Today we are going to be demoing the laminate floor. Ooh. 
We've got some settlement issues that are going on with this. This is my dad, Tim. He does not talk, so don't expect him to say anything. Ceilings are finished in here. That is where the HVAC is. The plan now is to demo the laminate floor, level out the floor where we can, and then it'll have new flooring throughout. The bathroom is gonna get gutted, which is currently what is going on. This will be a walk-in shower with a window, new floors, and it'll get reworked. This year, we really wanted to make sure that we spent a lot of time with the kids and that we created fun moments with them. In order for us to do that and make time to do that, we are looking into hiring people, whether it be construction related or farm related, or just things that need to be checked off the to-do list. And so this week is the first week that we hired people to come and help with the construction part of Holiday House and Getaway House. And we recently hired my dad. I have not really shared a lot about my relationship with my dad. And I think the simple way around that is just to say we have a complicated relationship. He actually grew up on a farm. He lives on a farm, so he was like the perfect fit for that. And it's really exciting to get so much stuff checked off the list and be able to spend a lot more time with our kids. I'm gonna drop you, I'm gonna drop you so good. So I've been on the tractor moving rock for the driveway and as I was doing that I found the lost chicken and unfortunately it is not good news and I'm about to tell Dixie. Bad news. You have no shame do you? Why? You turn on the camera and you say bad news. I found the lost chicken. Just the head. Just the head. So that's Desi. Yeah. Poor Desi. But look what Papa found at the farm. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a goose egg. You know what? I think I knew that from watching Martha. We had our first goose egg. Oh my goodness. Which is a sign of spring is to come. Yeah. Should, no. Should we put, should we put it? Should, no, it's a goosey. Ew. Should we put it in the incubator and see if it hatches? Yeah. Can you, this might be a dumb question. Can you eat goose eggs? You really, like his eggs? Oh my gosh. This is a great dinner. Oh, Daddy, thank you. Let's play What Farm Animal Are We Bringing Home Today? What do you mean? I don't know about that. He's shaking. Hey, girl. Hey. We have an escapee. Fun Facts with Dixie! So I thought about all the stuff that's been going on kind of haphazardly and how mostly we're learning um, after the fact. And that reminds me of an old saying, a stitch in time saves none. The original saying wasn't a stitch in time saves none. The original saying from Thomas Fuller in the 1720s was a stitch in time might save nine. 
It was later changed to a stitch and done, saves nine in the 1790s. So, there you go. <laughs> Holiday House, we demoed the trailer out of it. We were going to replace all the aluminum wires, and I told them to cut them out, but they also cut out a lot of the wires that we just installed. Which means we're going to have to replace all the stuff that we just did. We spent maybe $600 on new wire, and a good portion of it has been cut out. But, so $600 in wire plus labor. So I would say over $1,000. But on the plus side, Holiday House is now officially demoed, which means we can start drawing up floor plans. We are currently at Getaway House. If you remember the last time we spoke about this, we were talking about how close we were to getting finished with the house and we have stumbled into a very serious issue. I'm just curious how bad the rest of the floor is. PJ, oh. are you okay? I am. How, where does it hurt? It doesn't hurt. Your hand was like this close to a nail. Not, he said he fell through too. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm a part of a group on Facebook that is for sheep farmers. So one of the first things that I did when the coyote attacked the lamb was get on the group and ask the question of like, what do you guys do to protect your sheep? A lot of people recommended that we get a guard dog. Researching more into it, Great Pyrenees and Anatolian Shepherds are the two that they recommend for sheep or livestock. The first one that I found was an adult male, so we decided to load up and go take a look at it. Mm-hmm. Anna, what are we getting today? <laughs> a puppy dog. <laughs> we have we have all a puppy dog. Yeah. We buy all a puppy dog. Yeah. I like that tiny chicken. I know, it's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> what the? Oh. It looks just like ours. Mm hmm. Also found two puppies. The benefit of getting puppies is that you can raise them with your livestock so that they're used to the specific types of livestock that you have. After we decided to get the puppies, when we brought them home, we were excited for Jolie and Meryl to meet them, but it didn't go so well. I like this. <laughs> we were also really excited because Anna was with us, but we were going to be able to surprise the boys 
And so Raya gets home from school first, so we surprised him first, and then we surprised Alan. Oh. I eat it off. So do you want to go to the park? It's a rainy day. Hey, Zafa. What? We just got some new farm animals. I'm to see. I'm to see. What? Is it real? I think it's real. Is it really real? <gasps> oh. You love them? Yeah. Death my Fallon! Uh-uh, don't say anything. Fallon! Come here. Puppies. Aww. Aren't they cute and sweet looking? <laughs> They're our new farm dogs to protect the sheep. Oh, so they won't kill anybody? Mm, they're really nice. They're not like Aspen and Ellie. That's him. <gasps> that is him. We we literally bought him like four hours ago to go to our farm to be a guard dog for our sheep. And he jumped our back fence in downtown before we could get him to the farm. Look who's home. So I'll put him on the back porch, but I'll close the gate. <laughs> Well, it depends. Guys, stay up here. We can't keep a dog that keeps getting out. I got a call from Dixie about 20 minutes ago, and she said that hooves were coming out of our sheep's vagina. Vagina, vagina. And it's one of our younger sheep, so there was a chance that it may be a... Um, difficult birthing or lambing if you will and so I jumped in the car and I headed that way she just called me right now and she said the lamb is out she did have to pull it not aggressively but um, did help the mother and we're on the way to go look at it me and the puppuccinos I got all three we also lost big puppuccino yesterday for a couple of hours he jumped the fence in our in town house I'm not 100% sure he's going to work out because he keeps wanting to run away. I got my $10 Amazon wig on. I'm going to see if I can kind of trick Dixie into thinking I didn't her. She has spotted the hair. No, I dyed my hair. Yeah, I wanted to see. I've always wanted to see. You like it? What? Why? No, it's not. No, it's not. More importantly, let's check out this baby. Oh! Mama, you stomping your feet because you afraid of we gonna eat that baby. <laughs> what, did, what did he do? He chopped out. He got out? He chopped out. How? That's it. He needs to go to, to the chill zone, doesn't he? Or time out. Chill zone. He got out again. <laughs> what do they say about Great Pyrenees? They like to roam. And I thought 32 acres would be good for him, but he just... 
What do they? What's their nickname? What do they call them? Like escape artists. Oh yeah. So that's cute. Also, the puppies are chasing the chickens, so we're off to a bad start. I but know. we have a cute little baby. Her mom left her, so that sucks. Also, it's just a great day. Aww. Well, no, it is a great day. There's new life out here on the farm. That's always a great day. Moms have lost their babies up here and screaming for them. That, for some reason, always cracks me up whenever they're separated by the fence. And I mean, it's sad, but it's also cute. For some reason, it's cuter that there's two of them. No, no, no. Yeah. It's like a whole... Like little twin. She's gonna make it. There was some tearing that happened. How are you? What if I take away your baby today? And she's bonded. As you can see, she will come up and punch me in the. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see it? I did.